presentation and uh, papers open for discussion and questions. On your slide that had the uh, wave packet moving, um, you gave it initial momentum for 5 and 50. Do those have units? Um, yeah, it's just the atomic units. Two? They're satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> More questions? I didn't re realize how exactly, well, you're showing actually two level system, which electronic system, which is coupled to the vibrational uh, mode, kind of electronic, right? Uh, and you just consider the evolution of your wave packet going from one electronic state to another through the kind of vibronic, vibronic uh, levels. How is it related to the perovskite? Um, so this is, it's kind of simulating as the, the perovskite is excited through, in this case it was infrared emission, it's showing that as this electron is added, it's the shortening and lengthening of the bonds that creates this jump of energy. But can I say that, for example, let selenite is also has a, um, uh, there's a there's, you can excite it at the, in, in really like in the infrared range because it's very narrow band gap semiconductor. Then all this story can be applied to the let's say let selenite crystal. Oh, I mean, right? Like any actually it's not really perovskites, it's any kind of mm. um, semiconductor crystal with a small band gap where the excitation mm -hmm. right is in an infrared range or maybe um, near infrared range, right? Yes. And what can you advocate or add to uh, the Or something really about perovskites. Uh, um, the offset of blue and uh, red along its axis is bigger in perovskite materials because the bonds are softer. In uh, more uh, solid crystals, they will be over, all, almost overlapping. So technically, you can make this offset of uh, levels <laughs> and then say, well, I'm looking on a different relaxation rates in perovskites or perovskites with this type of and ions like iodine, lead, or whatever, right? And this might be also kind of a force of parameters which you can play with. Yeah. Nice. Okay, thanks. Uh, I do have a question. And it is very challenging. Uh, do, do not fear if you cannot answer. Just try your best. Uh, show you a, a radius point. So, uh, when Yung Yu was showing his radius point, the slope was in the opposite direction. Which means, uh, like, <laughs> this increase of temperature rate was higher. Yeah, in, so in, in your simulation, this increase of temperature rate is getting slower. How do you interpret it, if, if you can? Yeah, and initially when I was getting that, I was really confused because I was seeing, you know, when looking at other Arrhenius plots, and as well as Yungi, is it going in that negative slope? And I was confused at first, but then as I was looking back through the, the data that I was getting in my Excel plot, I was seeing kind of the opposite of what is traditional and it was showing that as the temperature increased with uh, as well as the p naught was increased the rates were actually decreasing mm -hmm. but, uh, but is yeah. it similar to what Alisa was showing for her case no the connection is no, no straightforward but can you bring uh, your potentials or anything which shows your two potentials curves for all the two right. yeah for example, here. So, um, how does um, blue parabola on the left, at which point of red parabola it, it inter they intersect? It intersects at the, with the bottom portion of it. Yes. And uh, here I need to add, you, you answered everything correctly, but uh, this corresponds to activation less uh, transition, which gives absolute maximum. Um, and any changes to the system compared to this configuration, either increasing temperature or changing offsets, you only slow down the reaction. So uh, it, this surprise is expected. Okay. More questions to Morgan? If no, let's thank you once again.